Alright guys, we're going to get our little catfish, our little channel cats out of here, we're going to clean them up. These fish are dispatched, they're no longer alive, but uh, on my little cedar cutting board right here, I don't know if you see it or not, but I've got a knot hole. I like to take their side fin and stick it down in that knot hole and it holds them nice and steady. And what I'm looking for to start my cut is I'm gonna make an angular cut right here along the back side of this uh, of his rib cage and I'm gonna peel the fillet this way. And when I get to the tail, I just flip it over and I like to float my knife right along the skin when I'm peeling this fillet off. I don't want to go all the way down to the skin. There's some meat on there that I don't want. And there we go, guys. We've got a nice clean fillet. And as you can see, I left a little bit of meat on the skin because that's where all that muscle meat is at, that dark muscle meat. And that doesn't taste good, so I don't want it. So I'm just gonna flip this back over. We'll flip our catfish over and put his fin through the hole. We'll make an angle cut this way along his back. I'm gonna flip the fillet over and I'm gonna float my knife. See, there's a little bit of that red meat I was talking about. If you get a little of that, it's no big deal. You can take your knife and just scrape it right off. Get all that skin off and let's uh, flip that little bit of red meat right off of there. There we go. No problem. Got a little bit of skin right here. Mm, let's grab us another one. To me, these right here are about the perfect size catfish to make fillets. It's that barbel right there, man, that thing's painful. You get stuck with that. So these are just perfect size heat fish right here. You see how I made that angular cut? That's what you want to do. That way I've not got into the rib cage. The rib cage is right here. His skull is right here, and there's a little bit of meat right here, but I don't worry about losing that. I've got all the meat I want from this filet right here. Just floating that blade, so I'm not getting that real dark meat. There we go. Now, Channel Cat have a, if you see this yellow right here, um, this is all kind of fatty meat. It doesn't necessarily taste bad, but you might want to trim that off. I usually don't. But the darkest, that dark muscle meat, that's uh, that's where all your really fishy taste comes from. I'll flip this guy over. Drop his fin down in the fin hole. This time I'm gonna angle my knife this way. It's kind of making a diagonal cut right in front of the the dorsal fin, and then coming down on the angle towards the anal fin. Let's 
see that that gives me a nice clean flow. So leaving that muscle meat on the skin, I've got a nice clean fillet right there. When it comes to eat, cleaning these channel cats, I think the, this size right here, one to two pounders are just excellent. And they're really quite easy to clean. So right here, I'll find the top of my uh, top of my dorsal fin and make a diagonal cut just between these two fins. Then turn my knife and glide in along the backbone. Cuts off just like butter. Be no easier than that. Here's your nice pretty fillet. Flip them over. Get that fillet off the other side. He's got an unusual gill. Hmm. Oh, it's pretty crazy. And you see, we almost got into the gut pouch there. We really don't want to do that. Okay, we got a little skin left on this fillet. It's no problem. We can go back and get that off. Knife got a little wild on it. That was it. Four fish, four fillets. Now I'm just rinsing these fillets off real good. Grab a Ziploc baggie. Put these fillets in the bag. Those are four beautiful, lots of lots of nice meat. Those fillets are about a half inch thick. Uh, what I consider the perfect frying size. Uh, you can you can just fry them up whole. You don't have to chunk them up. You can make catfish nuggets out of them if you want to. But uh, I consider those just a perfect size frying fillets. I'll probably end up vacuum selling these and freezing them, so I'm gonna take them in the house. After I wash my, do a little clean up here.
then what I'm going to do with these carcasses is I'll take these carcasses guys and uh, simply dump them into a paper sack dump them into a paper sack and then I'll put them in my bait freezer and on garbage day I'll simply reach in here and grab the bag of carcasses uh, still got some skipjack in here from April that's good running low but we still got a few I'll grab that bag on garbage day on my way to work I'll take it and I'll put it out there in the can and take it to the road that way I won't have to deal with stinky fish carcasses I used to haul them off and dump them or carry them throw them in the woods or carry them to the boat ramp but man I tell you it's just a lot easier if you take them put them in a paper sack put them in your freezer and listen if you don't have an outside freezer don't go take your fish carcasses and put them in your wife's your spouse's freezer and her open it up not knowing what it is and get mad at you and divorce you i don't want that to happen i only do it because this is my freezer and only i keep things in this freezer so this is my bait freezer it's made for fish that's why it's outside.